everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna random today, because I've been doing a couple of Isaac runs, and good lord did those runs go well. At least, uh, the last one I did for sure was just crazy good. Um, oh my god, what is, why is this going like two frames per second? It's okay, just working the turkey through, it'll be done, uh, any moment here. Uh, actually, I have a great idea. Disregard this. Northern Lion's going on a break for a second here, and I'm gonna go like that, and like that. It's amazing how many resources uh, Skype tends to use. Does that fix it up? No, it still looks pretty bad. Oh, well, well, it'll sort itself out pretty soon, I'm sure. In any case, uh, last run went absolutely amazingly. Uh, we became Guppy, we got Brimstone and Polyphemus. What's better here, Portable Slot or the Yumheart? I think it's probably Yumheart. Uh, portable Slot effectively just gave us a bomb there. Yeah, I think Yumheart is more abusable. I mean, okay, it's actually not more abusable because I know that there are, on paper, I know that there are glitches that you can do or exploits that you can do with Portable Slot that allow you to uh, basically break the game, I think. It might be IV Bag, Portable Slot, like Scapular, D20 or something. I can't remember. In any case, um, some combinations of those items can be abused. But that's beyond my feeble mental state. Instead, I'm going to stick with the basics, and the basic in this situation is absolutely Yumheart, which is the Maggie item du jour. You should really learn the, you know, the other, the, the Maggie item du anum. I, that's maybe Latin as opposed to French, I can't remember. The Maggie item of all years, I suppose. I have three bombs, one penny, and two keys, and that's actually a pretty good situation to be in this early on. Please? Okay, well. I thought I maybe I would get lucky, A, and get the small rock, but B, and hit both or at least one of those Larry Juniors over the course of that uh, bomb that I placed there, but sadly no. That being said, I always like a Maggie run. A Maggie run is one of those runs. Well, let's put it this way. If you have characters like Judas and Samson and Eve, Blue Baby, that have to get fat fast uh, in order to survive, Maggie's like the exact opposite. Maggie's like playing a... Uh, like a support, a good support in uh, Dota or something like that. You're playing like a Crystal Maiden or a Wind Ranger, I guess is what they've renamed it to now, or a, a Lich or something like that. You know, if shit doesn't go great for you right off the bat, it's okay. You've got enough health to kind of just hang out for a while uh, and figure it out. Same thing, you know, if your Anti-Mage gets killed like right off the bat, or if Judas gets really damaged right off the bat, you're kind of screwed. Oh my, we found the Pentagram. Disregard everything. This is amazing. Uh, yeah, obviously we'll pick this up. Not that we have any control in the matter anyway. You, you hopefully understood what I was getting at there with that Dota analogy. If you didn't, then uh, that's probably my bad. But in any case, or it's like in League of Legends if you have a, a Teemo and then the lady with the large breasts who's a pirate and then I don't, I've never played League of Legends. That's not true actually, back in like 2009, 2010 maybe. Uh, one of my friends was like, yo, I've been playing this free game, League of Legends, you gotta try it out. And then I played it for like 10 seconds and was like, I don't understand this. Eventually I ended up sinking like 800 hours into Dota, and it, it took me about 700 of those hours to even understand what the fuck was going on. But, anyway. That's nothing against either League or me being like an evangelical Dota supporter. I'm just saying, that's, you know, I had my chance to get in on the ground floor-ish of, uh, oh, that's bad damage. On the ground floor-ish of League, I would have, uh, 5 million subscribers right now, just my... League of Legends plus Minecraft channel, uh, and uh, unfortunately I let that pass me by. Could have been a contender. Uh, that is another amazing upgrade already. Meat gives us uh, an extra HP as well as a little bit of extra damage, and I'll take the Pact, and I'm very tempted to the point of actually going to do it to take Guppy's Paw, and you might be saying, why the fuck would you take Guppy's Paw in this situation? You're still so early in the game. Yeah, but, uh, you know, Yumheart is it's an okay spacebar item. It can be pretty good in a lot of situations. But I would rather, A, have a chance to become Guppy, and B, uh, maybe hold on to Guppy's paw, and maybe we'll use it a little bit later in the game. We can guarantee ourselves permanent Polaroid invincibility. Guppy's paw is one of those items where, if you're ranking, like, deals with the devil items, uh, obviously, like, Mom's Knife and Brimstone and, and Flying items, those are, like, no-brainer uh, good deal with the devil items in most cases, at least. Regardless, of, as long as you have enough health to take them, you, in most cases, probably should take them. Uh, Guppy's Paw is like, I, I think it might even be up there in terms of items that I have the highest correlation of success with. But, you need to know what you're doing with it, and that's not, again, my way of saying like, Oh, check out how smart I am at the Binding of Isaac. It's my way of saying like, I've fucked up a lot of winning runs by using Guppy's Paw improperly, but I've also probably given myself a chance on a lot of losing runs by using it effectively. That's my, uh, thinking on it anyway. So we have Guppy's Paw, um... The only way we will replace this is if we end up somehow picking up, like, a ton of... Oh, we could get into that boss trap room. If we end up picking up a ton of 
Uh, or actually, just one really great, like, impossible to pass up spacebar item. I don't know what that would be. We totally can go to the boss trap room, which is amazing. Uh, because the, with the odds of this working are probably like 1 in 4. I'm lucky we're on an early enough floor, I guess. Alright, we only get Magic 8-Ball, which is not particularly great. But the tarot card that we get could in, end up making a major difference, you never know. Well, it could end up making a minor difference, at least. It could end up making no difference at all. Those are probably the two most likely scenarios. And I don't know, maybe if we end up... It like, can't even be the Joker card. But it could be Temperance, and Temperance would be amazing. And uh, it could be Judgment, and Judgment would be incredible as well, so... I mean, maybe not right away, but if we carry Judgment down to the next floor or manage to get a free deal with the Devil item or a, just a paid deal with, with the Devil item uh, as a result, that would be amazing. Or it could just be, you know, portable slot. Wheel of Fortune. We'll see. Uh, also picked up a half Red Heart I can't use. It's the Fool card, which is, uh, you know, it, the Fool card is not useless. It's very not useful in 90% of scenarios. There's two good uses for this that I can think of. One of them is uh, popping into a room, taking an item, and then leaving without getting hurt. One of those would be, obviously, a curse room. You could also do that on, like, a boss trap room, for example. If we'd had that item right away, we wouldn't have had to fight uh, all of the bosses that we fought in there. Or on a mob trap room, or on a curse room, which is where we're going to use it right now. So we'll get hurt on the way in, and there's a troll bomb. We'll actually lose another half spirit heart here. Wow, awful secret rooms, but at least I don't have to waste a bomb to get out. Uh, that is, like, a seriously awful curse plus secret room combination there. That being said, we lost some spirit hearts, but we do have uh, more... I was going to say more coming, but uh, actually it was just a small rock. And by just a small rock, I mean holy shit, we got a small rock. That's pretty awesome. So, uh, I think it is okay to fight the boss right away. We've gotten buffed up to shit as Maggie here. Uh, like three or four damage upgrades already. We're going to be fighting uh, probably the easiest boss that we could fight at this point. The glorified Duke of Flies here. Who will explode into some bomb flies, if I had to guess. The speed downgrade from Small Rock is, is very, very minor. Oh, no bomb flies. Sorry, that's just the um, the darker complexioned one. Uh, Cat of Nine Tails. I'm not even going to take it. That, that would be a second shot speed upgrade, which at this point is maybe more harm than good when, you, when it comes to facing enemies that uh, do get affected by knockback. RNG is half working out, like, outrageously in my favor and half not working out at all. Um... The boss room items that we've gotten so far have been amazing. The item room items that we've gotten so far, not uh, incredible, although, um, you know, 10 bombs is, is fine, and I forget what our other one... Oh, portable slot. Portable slot's actually pretty bad for us, but, um, you know, it, it, it could be worse, but uh, we've gotten kind of screwed on uh, that boss trap room item there, and we also got a shot speed upgrade, unfortunately, from our uh, boss trap room, which I didn't expect. Sacrificial Dagger is an okay pickup. Now, if this was a really accurate, Sacrificial Dagger should be relatively clean. Ooh, that's tempting, but I can't quite do it yet. Um, sacrificial Dagger should actually be relatively clean. Mom's Knife should be the one covered in the blood of its enemies. Uh, but, as is, obviously, that's not the way it works. That's why I think some people get confused. That is exactly what I wanted here. HP upgrade. Remember that every HP upgrade is worth not only the HP upgrade that we'll be able to use for the next, like, six floors, uh, but also three Spirit Hearts, assuming we manage to keep it. Uh, when we go down to fight, uh, or when we go down to use Guppy's Paw as our, uh, Spirit Heart Generator. So, we're getting a lot of golden chests. That is not infuriating, but it raises some questions here, because obviously, like, I would love to open them, but we only have one key, so I would rather go to the shop. But certainly, uh, we do not have the money in all likelihood, I shouldn't say certainly, in all likelihood we don't have the money to go to the shop. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave. If I was gonna open a golden chest, I would open the golden chest in the mob trap room, and then you have a chance to get a consumable for fighting the enemies as well, but, um, sure. So I, I'm, I have, I'm, of, <laughs> what am I, I gotta get this caffeine inside of my body before I start recording videos. I lose all eloquence. That was risky, but it worked out. Um, what, uh, was I even going to say? I totally forgot. What do we need? We don't really need anything, but the higher percentage of uh, good items that we get, obviously, without question, the better that would leave us standing. Um, if anything, more HP wouldn't be the end of the world. A tears upgrade would be pretty nice, uh, or like several rate of fire upgrades would be pretty nice. Uh, at this point, it's not unlikely that we'll get damage upgrades, but it might be a little unlikely. And I guess more importantly, we don't even have Guppy's Tail, and we're getting so many fucking golden chests, it's crazy. Um, more keys would be amazing, and, and more money would be amazing as well, so we could actually go to these shops uh, instead of just leaving them. So we will sacrifice one Spirit Heart here to see if we get some Guppy items. Those are pills. Hey, it's Guppy's head. Okay, so we are two-thirds of the way to becoming Guppy. That means whatever items we get, we're basically taking. Whatever Guppy items we get, I should say. Pill number one, Balls of Steel. Pretty useful. Pill number two. 
friends till the end. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Uh, do we know what this pill is? This could be another balls of steel pill. It is another friends till the end pill. Well, I'll carry it with me. Uh, it's not. Ah, hey, you know our tears actually do a decent amount of damage, so this isn't. Uh, this isn't anything to sneeze at. Can probably basically serve as like a Necronomicon for uh, a room or two, and the flies will take out all the enemies. So pretty good if we just manage to snag one more deal with the devil. Uh, there's a decent chance that it'll contain either Guppy's tail or Guppy's uh, uh, nine lives, I suppose, is the other one. Uh, or we just keep going to curse rooms, and there's a fairly decent chance it'll show up there too. I really hope that we have an arcade here, because I, I can. I know that I can get the money to go to the shop, possibly snag an HP plus speed upgrade, uh, and get keys maybe from the gambling. Not that we need it now, because we already have two, but we'll see. And uh, that could really give us a, a leg up on the competition. But if we become Guppy and we end up getting more uh, red hearts to use with Guppy's paw, we're in a very good situation. I, I should just go without saying, if you become Guppy, you're in a pretty good state. Oh my god, I lost a whole spirit heart. Fighting this room, which I probably fought like, you know, 70,000 times over the course of this series. Oh, and another golden chest. Fantastic. I don't even know what, like, the... Why are golden chests showing up so frequently? I don't have Guppy's uh, tail. If I did, I would be Guppy right now. This is just a, a huge uh, outpouring of support from the golden chest community. Unfortunately, I'm, I don't really want it. Uh, okay, nine lives. So this is scary because we're going to lose some health, but we will become Guppy. And that's the second time in a row. I'm waiting for people to be like, Whoa, oh my god, you become guppy every time, like it's becoming overpowered. That's bad trip? I did not expect that. I was like, well, if anything, it'll be a health downgrade, which will actually be a health up in this situation. Anyway, um, again, very similar situation to the last video. We're doing a crazy amount of damage, and we're guppy. We can fly. That obviously benefits us greatly defensively. Uh, but we have very little health. Very, very little health. That deal with the devil, I'm uh, obviously hoping that that is probably going to be Krampus in this situation. Or the nail. Oh, it is Krampus. Okay, good. So I imagine this is going to be a real easy fight. Anything that makes our tears do more damage, assuming Lump of Coal actually synergizes properly with the flies, uh, allows us to do a lot more damage as a result of our flies, which I believe, if uh, the commenters are correct and I'm remembering it correctly, uh, the flies do two times the damage of your tears. So it's amazing how uh, being aggressive towards these guppy items has actually allowed me to get guppy way more frequently than I would have thought uh, was actually possible. Alright, well we got two cents for opening that golden chest, which is pretty terrible as a, from a payout standpoint, but it does give us 15, which gives us enough to go to the shop. Now, obviously more HP is uh, a very welcome value proposition for me, especially if I don't pay for it. Spider Butt is not as good as Guppy's Paw in basically any fathomable situation, I think, unless you're on the very final boss room. Uh, because Guppy's Paw, every, three spirit hearts is probably worth more than what Spider Butt would give me, let's put it that way. Um... We know the secret room can't be directly below us because, well, there's a room there, but it can't be directly below that because we would have seen it when we went into the curse room. So instead we found it here, and that's another nine cents, which gives us uh, probably, please tell me there's an arcade here. That's what I'm hoping for, so we can gamble and get more keys. Um, but yeah, it's we're in a better situation than it looks right now. The frustrating part is that we really can't survive without HP at this point. We need to get HP. We are going to be getting the blue candle here, and this is uh, actually a really tempting pickup because uh, of the damage that it does, and I, I don't think it would make our flies any better, but uh, the damage that it does is out of control, obviously. Uh, but I did buy a key and a spirit heart there just to keep me alive a little bit longer. The reason I didn't pick up blue candle, gotta bank on Guppy's Paw. Blue candle could provide us with some benefit, but if I use Guppy's Paw now, then any HP upgrades for the rest of the game are going to be useless. Well, not useless. They may actually be detrimental because we'll lose permanent Polaroid invincibility, or they could be good because they'll buff up our health a little bit. It, it depends on the number that we get, I suppose. Um, down to the next floor regardless, though. We don't really need uh, friends till the end anymore, but I'll use it anyway. Alright, uh, little Chad is probably not going to be too useful in the long term. Can't believe there wasn't an arcade on that floor. It's okay, though. So, yeah, we, we really need HP, and it, it's, it's possible that we won't get HP, but I do kind of have to, or I feel like I have to put all my eggs in one basket and uh, bank on Guppy paying out, or Guppy's Paw paying out with like a lot of spirit hearts. And if that works out, then I, I think we're basically good to go. Because as you can see, our damage is out of control and, you know, typically it just gets stronger as the game goes on, unless you end up picking up some like truly terrible items that I can't even imagine. Uh, another key is actually really useful, especially considering we've already gone to the uh, item room. Those red hearts may be valuable, but I need to, obviously, you know, to get a, uh, a blood bank or something first in order to make them work. 
playing the fortune teller in the hopes that we get, uh, well, crystal ball would be useful as a spirit heart or tarot card generator, and it would also show us the entirety of the floor, including the secret room, which would be nice. Um, but I guess primarily I would be interested in picking up a, a really good trinket or... Uh, even a really good trinket sounded good. Just like raw spirit hearts. Okay, that was a good golden chest. Death card is something that I usually prefer to use ASAP, just because it otherwise takes up some mental energy, just like figuring out when to use it. But we'll come through here and drop the death card. Ah, it's like an ideal room, because I could have taken uh, damage there for sure, so I'm a-okay -okay with that. I imagine on this floor, if I had to guess, greed is a, or super greed of course, is a, a likely prospect. Oh no! The flies! You're so... I'm mad because you bad. Uh, why would I put a bomb there, also, now that I think about it? Now, with Lucky Toe, I'm pretty sure that drastically increases the chances of us uh, winning on that fortune teller, so I may go back and game all that. Okay, well, our shop... It's actually really reassuring. Our shop cannot have greed in it, then. I'm too slow to get away from... Oh, man, this is not good. A little too slow to get away from that troll bomb. Now, um, I don't want to do this, but we can use Guppy's... P uh, let's go play this fortune teller first. And I, and this is a convenient time for me to sip some of this coffee as well. Um, I can use Guppy's Paw to increase my survivability. I know what you're saying. Don't do it. You have nine lives. That might not actually be a, a bad idea. So, y you know, we can always respawn. Oh, my God. The first thing it drops is the tick. Allow me to caffeinate for a second here. I spilled it all over myself. This is just an analog for what's happening on this run right now. Um, yeah, I'd say this is not going particularly well. This floor, in, in, at least. Um, but that's okay. We got the damage. I've just got to run some numbers in my brain here, the old uh, meat noggin, and figure out. Is it better to respawn with nine lives and one heart in the hopes of getting more HP upgrades? Or is it better to survive? Because normally, it's better to survive with... Um, with nine lives, right? Because you have a much better chance of surviving when you have the most HP possible versus the the least HP possible. But we only have one heart, which is the amount of health that uh, I believe nine lives will respawn us with. So I, I guess functionally, it's not that big of a deal. So I guess true, I, I should save Guppy's paw until I'm really gonna go for broke here. And we do have another spirit heart here and another deal with the devil, which is just crazy to me, but. Um, well, okay, we'll open it up. I really doubt we will end up picking up whatever's going on in this deal with the devil, but we'll see. It is, uh, Spirit of the Night and Forget Me Now, neither of which provide me with, um, basically any value at all at this point. We still got a lot of floor to cover here, though. The HP upgrade was a huge pickup, and at this point, now, this is like, I've got to do whatever I can to keep this run alive. Come on, flies. I wish range up increased the range of your flies. That would save me a little bit of hassle here. Um... But, we got some work to do still. 2 HP is not a lot, but the damage that we're doing is not a little either, so... You know, it's that age-old, uh, well, not age-old at all, but that uh, reasoning where the more damage you do, the less health you have to have. The only question is where that, uh, like, equilibrium point is drawn. And I think we're, we might be past it if we get a little bit more HP. Alright, so this is just a speed upgrade, but I actually could use that. Uh, as you saw, in all likelihood, I, I couldn't run away from that troll bomb, so picking up a single speed upgrade is actually pretty valuable to me in this situation. And obviously, uh, we're gonna tear through this room pretty easily. If I take damage, so be it. It's not like there's a shortage of red hearts or anything. I don't think we can get an arcade on this... Oh, okay, well now be careful. I don't think we can get an arcade on this floor. Getting an extra key is actually quite nice, though. And our shop cannot have an enemy in it. You know what? I will buy Bum Friend in this situation, even though I think he's a pretty bad item most of the time. Uh, I'll pick him up. And we'll heal up a little bit as well, because I don't want to die. Uh, well, I shouldn't have taken that half-red heart, but whatever. Um, yeah, I don't want to die. Um, but also, Bum Friend could be... A useful companion if he picks up the money, because we don't really need it anymore unless we come across a judgment card. Then he could end up dropping consumables that actually make our life a little bit easier. Is six spirit hearts enough for us to win the game? Almost certainly not. But with that in mind, let's go down to the next floor. Now I'm going to take a second to legitimately recaffeinate. Much better. Okay. Necropolis doesn't concern me as much as you might think. We're more than strong enough to take out the enemies that we're going to be running into on Necropolis. We have more than enough keys. Uh, and in particular, as as mentioned many times, our flies are so fucking good. It's the main reason, you know, the first time uh, that I got Guppy, I think I was really... Well, well, we'll use Book of Revelations once at least. Um, the first time that I, I got Guppy, I think I was like enthralled by the fact that it's like, Hey, it's sort of like a free ability to fly, although not really because you end up paying like 6 HP upgrades to get it in some cases. Um, 
But really, once you figure out how much damage the flies are actually capable of doing, that's where the, the money is. I mean, obviously Guppy's like a an attractive value proposition for all of the things that it brings to the table. But the flies are the uh, the main kicker for me, just because of the goddamn crazy amount of damage. Oh, I should not let Bumfriend pick those up. The goddamn crazy amounts of damage that they actually allow you to do. So I imagine the mom fight is going to be real easy. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep moving on. This is our dead. This is exactly the kind of item order you want to, or room order you want to come across here. We're going to have more than enough keys, and we'll check out our item room, which gives us homing bombs, which is not that bad. 17 homing bombs is, is okay. If we can augment, the bombs, they get, like, not exponentially, but, you know, fairly substantially stronger the more uh, of those upgrades that you get. So if we can get uh, Poison Bombs or Mr. Mega in addition to the homing and kind of a decent number of bomb uh, upgrades that we have right now, then sure, that's fine. Then we'll be able to use those effectively against maybe the later game bosses. Maybe not, though. We'll see, though. This is Curse Room plus Blood Bank. This is an interesting situation, a situation I'm very pleased to be a part of. We have teleported to the deal with the devil. I'm not going to pick up the mark. The good news is I don't have to pay for that room. <laughs> the bad news is didn't really contain anything of value. But this could. Oh, bum friend, that was great. Take all the money. Hey, it was a full health upgrade, so that's pretty valuable, sort of. Although it would have been more valuable later, but at least I know what it is now. And we'll let bum friend get all of the money. Nothing there. Okay, that's fine. I know there's a lot of red hearts available. I just want to make a little bit of progress first. So don't get hit twice on this room. That's a fairly easy ask, I think. Another red chest, which is actually great. And no, and, and yet another run with no uh, no item, or no compass, no map. That's fine, though. We'll, we'll survive. Oh, should have let bum friend get that. Okay, I'm, apologies, I'm so used to not having bum friend. Oh, the nickel is definitely going to cause him to pay out. What do you got for me? Uh, okay, well, it's a damage upgrade. Maybe it's better than Lucky Toe? I don't know. We'll see. We have already been to some of the more valuable rooms, but we have uh, some more valuable rooms awaiting us as well. That is the boss room, probably the most valuable room here. Uh, the sequel to Most Valuable Primate, the movie about the chimpanzee that plays uh, ice hockey. Why I never. Uh, let's... we have 19 bombs, that's pretty good. Let's look for secret rooms, because bum friend, if it gets 9 cents, could pay out with some good stuff. That is indeed it. And there we go, that's exactly how I saw this shit going down. There's a key. What else you got? This is Balls of Steel. That's a crazy good pill. And a Spirit Heart. You are a nice dude, uh, bum friend. You are it's not saving the world, but you're helping me out a great deal. That's an extra basically one HP upgrade in a bit of, uh, of Spirit Heartness that you gave me there. Much appreciated. More Red Hearts? No, more Spirit Hearts. It's actually uh, mm, potentially better. Not guaranteed to be better. So we've almost finished with this floor. Uh, good, we're going to get exactly back to full health. That allows us to choose how to play the Blood Bank more effectively. And we can definitely tank Mom with only Spirit Hearts, uh, given the amount of Spirit Hearts that we picked up recently. So I can afford to go pretty hard on this uh, Blood Bank. And we get another... Oh! Sorry, bum friend. He's like, you fuck. Uh, so, we got another three plays on this Blood Bank. Hopefully, you know, money's good, but hopefully it pays out with uh, the HP upgrade, which would give me a very drastically improved chance of success. What is this? We don't know. We don't know? Puberty. Okay, it's worthless, but it could be worse. He's got two pennies. Ah, yes! Lucky us. Okay, so Guppy's Paw becomes even more uh, excellent here. Now we're gonna have like, maybe nine plus five, 14 spirit hearts. Uh, that's maybe enough for us to coast on, but again, we're gonna let it go for a while. Usually, I like to use Guppy's Paw after the... Um, after the wound part one, because that's the last realistic opportunity for us to get an HP upgrade, minus the chest, but the value of having permanent Polaroid invincibility before the chest definitely exists. And we did get another HP upgrade. All right. We did take one spirit heart worth of damage, but that's okay anyway. Mm-hmm. So, uh, picking up like three HP upgrades on that floor, or two HP upgrades on that floor, obviously extremely important. I would love to use uh, Guppy's Paw so we can get this, the value of permanent Polaroid Invincibility, which especially combined with the uh, Sacrificial Dagger is pretty nice, but uh, we, we can't do it just yet, and that's okay. What is nice is also, as a result of Bumfriend, we are going to have enough keys to actually open the chests on the chest, 
and uh, that will give us a much better chance of picking up some very high damage items. So if we end up in a tough spot there, we can still... Oh, the Devil card actually pretty valuable. Um, if we end up in a tough spot there, we can, you know, rely on that or, you know, hope for that to work out in a reliable fashion. Spe drop a Spirit Heart. You're blue! Blue enemies drop Spirit Hearts. Red Hearts! What a ripoff. Well, we are down to uh, 15. Why is my math so wrong? 4 times 3 plus 3, it's 15. I was really off before with my uh, Spirit Heart approximation, I think. Anyway, uh, so we'll have 15 Spirit Hearts. It's pretty good. Maybe not enough to coast on. But uh, the longer we wait, the more coastable it becomes, I think. So I just hang out over here, let the flies fill you in. I really need... The problem is, you know, you need to pull, pull on the thread somewhere, right? In order to start the chain of flies, you actually have to hit something. In order to hit something, I kind of need flies on this situation. I could use a bomb and blow up some of the cover. This is becoming a little tedious. Luckily, I can fly. If I couldn't, this would be uh, even more of a pain in the ass. There we go. Hey, okay, that wasn't so bad. And the library is uh, not really all that tempting, to be honest with you. Except, if there's like a Book of Belial, I could get a little... It's not even that risky, it's just a little risky. We'll lose a spirit heart going to this cursed room, but I think it's worth it. It's not worth it. It could have been worth it. Um, we go to the library, and there's not a Book of Belial, so it's irrelevant. But I was thinking if there's a Book of Belial, then I can use... Ooh, bad trip. That's a full health pill. The devil card might be worth more, but I think the full health is actually going to be better. Yeah, probably. This full health could be so important for us. Especially on like a late game boss fight. Um, what I was thinking is that if there was like a Book of Belial... Then we just end up uh, using Guppy's Paw, we'll coast on Spirit Hearts, and we take Book of Belial with us, because it would make our flies, I think, do so much damage in boss fights. Or it would allow our tears to do so- oh, sorry, bum friend. It would allow us to do so much damage in boss fights, in which case, uh, you know, that's great too, even if it isn't uh, as intended. And it only comes back to bite us in the ass if we pick up an HP upgrade on this boss fight. Which, actually, we could have used Guppy's Paw to do anyway, because we can leave after the, this Wound Part 1 boss fight. We're only on the Wound Part 1, Jesus. And we aren't. We're going to get White Pony in all likelihood. Sometimes this does pay out with Cuban Meat instead, I think, which is ridiculous, but sure. Um, I, I would actually much rather it pay out with Cuban Meat, obviously. Okay, so we've lost all of our Spirit Hearts. We're going to be on 12 Spirit Hearts. That's okay. Even And, you know, whether regardless whether or not I have Red Hearts. So we'll pick this up, put it back down. Basically worthless. Um, is it better to go with Book of Sin now? Honestly, I don't think so. I think it's still better to go with... Uh, I think it's still better to go with Guppy's Paw. Book of Sin's unlikely to pay out with things that are too useful. Oh, you know what? Bad Trip doesn't work for us at all now that we have full health. Or now that we have only Spirit Hearts. So we might as well go back and pick up uh, the Devil card, which actually could make a major difference. Is Book of Sin better? I really don't think it is in case we get HP upgrade pills. Um, or we get HP on the chest, like having an extra three Spirit Hearts would be good. It's not necessarily a likely scenario, but it could happen. Time for a small coffee break. And now, uh, Utero 2. This is like the last floor that I'm not really concerned about. I'm pretty sure from a damage standpoint... Come on, bum friend. From a damage standpoint, we're gonna, like, tear up, uh, the cathedral. But from a survivability standpoint, it might be a little tricky. Alright, that's more trouble than it's worth, but thank you for the bomb. Gertie Jr. scare the shit out of me. Uh, yep, there's some damage. But with Sacrificial Dagger, I should be able to minimize this and only take damage once. Uh, hopefully at least. There we go. Devil card is something I'm absolutely going to use on the Isaac fight, I think. Probably shouldn't have put absolutely there if I didn't actually know what I was going to say, but uh, yeah, I think the Isaac fight is the most likely scenario. Because then on the chest, you get the items, and those items could make up for not using the devil card on the blue baby fight. Bum friend picks it up again. Starting to get acclimated to having this guy around. 99 times out of 100, I pass him up, but uh, occasionally. It's not a bad idea to pick him up. Balls of Steel. Huge pickup. The more of those we get, the much better our chances of success are. Uh, we gotta be reaching a dead end at some point here, but Flies will handle that. That's another Balls of Steel pill! That is so useful, and there's no reason to save it at all. Okay, so luck's on my side right now. This is a dead end. That's okay, though. The Empress. Uh, I... It's, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other in my eyes. Uh, I think the Devil card causes your tears to do more damage than the Empress gives you in a, in a buff. But I think the Empress also gives you some other stats. It's not a big deal. Uh, we could always use one and then come back for that other card. But it's the kind of thing that I would just consider kind of a waste of time. So we'll probably make our way to the next dead end here. Uh, a compass would have been... Oh, shit. Compass obviously would have been an amazing pickup. But 
You can't always get what you want. That's my favorite uh, Justin Bieber song. What do you mean he didn't do the original? I, he can do no wrong. Uh... I don't know, this is a weird tangent, but this is the kind of point we're at in this run where I can go on these weird tangents. It's always crazy to me when, like, if, if you're, like, 15 and, you know, like, the, the girls at your school that you like, like Justin Bieber instead of you. I get that having some, like, uh, vitriol towards him, right? Because I've been there. Who, who was hot shit when I was in, uh, high school? Uh, this is all going back. Like, Usher, man! Uh, yeah had just come out and everyone was like, Usher, Usher, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Well, did Usher get, like, 93 in grade 11 chemistry? I don't think so. You should get with the provider, ladies. It's not like any of them. Okay, well, I guess we, now we pick up Book of Belial. But it always amazes me on the internet when I see, like, grown men not just being, like, disbelieving of some aberrant behavior from Justin Bieber. When they go, like, yeah, I really hate that Justin Bieber asshole. And I'm like, you're like, you're like 30, man. You, you're, it's not for you. You're just not supposed to care about it. That's like saying you went into a convenience store and you're like, yeah, I fucking hate, like, ring pops and fun dip. You go to like a McDonald's play pace or something, or just to go to a McDonald's, and you're like, the toys in this week's Happy Meal are shitty. Like this is this is for younger people, people who are younger than you. If if you're getting bent out of shape about uh, freaking what the kids are listening to, then you've already lost, my friend. You have already lost. You know, there's worse things. At 30, you're supposed to care about Syria. You're supposed to care about about politics and civil rights, not Justin Bieber. Get over it, man. It's okay. He's a pop star. There's going to be many more after him. All right. Well, these are uh, well. One of those is a good trinket, anyway. The rest, not so much. Book of Belial, obviously against Mom's heart here, and uh, I expect that with 25 bombs, this will be something that's very easy to take care of. We have oh, homing bombs as well, but mostly it's going to be flies and uh, my tears as well doing the damage here and doing a pretty bang up job so far. Permanently firing bombs already. We should have the yep the laser bullet flies spawning now, and that'll do it. That was really easy. So it's up to the next floor, and I I still think we're gonna be fine here. Picking up Book of Belial is a, a pretty huge coup, but uh, we're still it, the main problem is the insecurity that comes from not having any way to replenish our spirit hearts. If I had Book of Revelations and a battery now, I'd feel a little bit better. Although Book of Belial might actually be effectively uh, more useful. Uh, another spirit heart drop there. If, if I even had like the relic or the miter or anything like that, I'd, I'd feel a lot better. But um, as is in this situation, we're basically existing and surviving on our own merits, which is is scary, because my merits don't always bring all the boys to the yard. Now, all right, Monstro Two. This is kind of an exercise in uh, how much damage do we do, because Monstro Two can sometimes be laborious. It's looking here like it's actually going to be pretty okay. So I, I'm confident in the amount of damage that we're doing. Shouldn't surprise you, I suppose, considering the the fact of a guppy. If you're guppy and you're not ha happy with the damage that you're doing, like, wh what went wrong in your life to change that? Uh, justice is uh, the penny. We'll obviously go to bum friend, and we'll take everything else. Five keys is basically the perfect number, and we actually did find our boss room basically right away. Super good news. So we'll fight Isaac with Book of Belial. Oh, I'm sorry, bum friend. We'll fight Isaac with Book of Belial ready, and uh, I... Don't really see this being a problem, and in fact, I see it's being so little of a problem. Actually, I'm going to save the devil card because I think we, we've gotten enough spirit hearts to to really make Isaac kind of our bitch in this situation. So, you know, if we end up losing three or four spirit hearts, it's not the end of the world at all, basically. Um, drop some bombs in there. He'll enter the third phase, so that's our third spirit heart lost. Uh, we have invincibility; you just can't see it right now, and he didn't even spawn any angel fetuses. So, yeah, we can see our spirit hearts. That's frightening, but uh, let's do this. We're on the Oh, well, just in time, right? <laughs> like, all of these items are basically worth... Mom's pad is not actually that bad. Book of Belial is probably still better. We don't have a reroll. Uh, I will take Skeleton Key. And the reason I'm taking Skeleton Key is because there's a pretty high percentage chance of more golden chests showing up. A decent percentage chance of more golden chests showing up in the chest. Uh, so the more of these we get, the better. Obviously, you know, it would have been nice to have these uh, a little bit earlier when we... Had all those golden chests that we couldn't open, maybe would have resulted in more HP for us. Um, but I, th I, I do think Book of Belial is way better than Mom's... Mo Mom's Pad, the closest it gets in quality to Book of Belial is right now. Because it's very good against the final boss, I think. If you've only got one room left to go and you don't have to worry about your future at all, then it, it's a pretty solid pickup. There are some clutch dodges in there. Uh, don't forsake yourself now. Um, it's pretty decent if you only if you don't have to worry about your future. That's the problem. The, the, the problem for us right now is that, you know, I, I still think we do have to worry about how we do on these rooms. And also, uh, Book of Belial probably allows us to do way more damage. So, 
Um, as, as good as mom's pad might be this one time, we're probably not going to take it. I say probably because with the devil card, I could take mom's pad into the fight and that would be kind of funny maybe, but you know. At this point, I don't consider it a foregone conclusion that we're going to win, but I think it's pretty likely considering how many spirit hearts we lost against, uh, how many spirit hearts we lost, we lost against Isaac relative to, you know, how many we have right now. Seems like a pretty good scenario for me. And this is good. Maggie's been uh, giving me a little bit of trouble lately, I think, in, in the runs that I've done with her recently. Uh, I'm sorry, bum friend, but also you're, like, really slow. So if you could just not be so slow, then I would stop picking up your money. Can I just, like, wire you the, the funds? Because it's really inconvenient for me to force you to dodge into them over and over and over. There you go. There's one for you. All right, so we've reached a dead end. Not that disconcerting. We still uh, basically have as many spirit hearts as we did when we came in, I think. Should probably try to kill uh, Gluttony last, but I can't really control my flies too well. Uh, if I can, then that would be great. Because we could possibly get a spirit heart for that, and I need the spirit hearts way more than I need the bombs. We were very close to killing Gluttony there by accident. Not that it would have been the end of the world, because he did end up paying out with basically nothing. Alright, now we go stand in the middle because I took some dumb damage. Oh well. Come on, flies. Oh, I don't have any flies. Oh no, okay. Two spirit hearts on that fight is kind of... Uh, Unacceptable. It's okay, we still have eight. And eight spirit hearts is going to be more than enough to take out the uh, blue baby that we're dealing with here. Already picked up remote detonator to get those bombs, I think. Even if I didn't, it's, it's very unlikely to make a difference. Okay, um, sure, let's check up. Bum friend with the two of spades card. Good, I have 198 keys. Effectively, I guess we kill Gluttony last again, although I hit him with like four seconds of just like straight up... Uh, full auto attack here, so I'm pretty sure one more fly would just end his life. Hey, we got lucky. Also, I was kind of correct in my assumption, but cool. Alright, now we kill, um, kill Sloth Blast. And as a result of killing Sloth Blast, no, the flies, don't kill Sloth. Uh, as a result of killing Sloth Blast, we have a relatively decent chance to get a tarot card that could be useful. Hierophant, for example. No, okay, we got lucky. Actually, we picked up Mr. Boom, which is real bad in this situation, and our pill is question marks. Bad gas, okay. Well, we gotta be closing in on the boss here. No point to even taking Mr. Boom. Book of Belial is obviously, a, you know, a thousand times better than that. Uh, I would rather take uh, Mom's pad than Mr. Boom. Now, Chubs have been like the easiest enemies for us to fight so far, even if I did take one damage against them recently. Just kinda hang out far away and then let the flies do the dirty work when they get even uh, a sniff of you. Great news for me. You will be deceased any second now. More bombs, and oh my god, I really did not expect this to be a dead end. I was pretty confident that uh, we'd be okay. We killed Famine, not in one hit, but uh, you know, quickly enough. I was actually really hoping, and of course, like this is unnecessary at this point, but I was really hoping we pick up Mom's knife because it just, when you already have a run that's basically one, picking up Mom's knife is just hilarious because it's basically just like, how much damage can I do? Now, don't walk into this. I saw a, um, a post on reddit.com slash r slash nlss circle jerk which is the circle jerk related to the northern lion lab super show on uh, on reddit and um oh careful and uh there was a really great post and it was like this is what happens when northern lion walks into like uh or when northern lion fights the carrion queen and it was just like a, a gif of the simpsons uh and it was uh the homer simpson like walking on a rake and then like it's just a yard full of rakes this is the worst story i've ever told right now uh, he's, he's on a yard, a yard full of rakes, and, uh, he steps on one, and then he turns around, and he steps on the other one, and they keep hitting him in the face. Uh, you get the gist of it, I'm sure. We actually may have a little bit of a struggle here. The struggle is real as we, uh, prepare to fight Blue Baby. Um, Shoop the Whoop is not nearly as good as the laser. And the moon is, uh, worthless, basically, as well. Alright, let's make this happen. Really don't want to die, because, you know, if we do die, that is, um... Uh... Oh, get out of the way, thank you! If we do die, that's, um, you know, eight more deaths basically coming right at you. I do think that even if we just tank this fight, like, we're basically unkillable. One spirit heart and, and some fairly okay dodging, adequate dodging at least, has allowed us to get to the point where we are, uh, you know, 80% of the way through Blue Baby. So we're going to win again. And that's really nice. Uh, it's been uh, a good run of form lately and in some relatively unusual ways, which I appreciate. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And of course, if you did, make sure to click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Uh, and subscribe if you want to see more Isaac. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.